How's it going? And welcome to Test That Tech. Today we are going to be doing a teardown of the Google Mini Home Assistant. The first thing we need to do is get this rubber piece off of the bottom of the device. It has adhesive to keep it on. Just gonna have to pry that off. What I should have done was heated up the adhesive before I removed this bottom piece. So this reveals four screws. Going to have to peel the excess adhesive off of this to get to the screws. What this has is these Torx 6 screws. Now that the screws are out, this can just lift up. That reveals the inside and the power port is connected to the small motherboard here, which is also connected to the speaker switch. So this has three more of those Torx 6 screws. Once those screws are out, this plastic piece and the small board just be taken out of the bottom. Here's the switch. So what this does, when you turn it on and off, this next layer has four Torque 8 screws that need to be removed. So once you get those screws out, this can just lift up. It's like that. You can see the inside and the speaker. So you can unplug the speaker just by taking this, pulling it out, just like that. See the speaker has some movement to it. This is the motherboard to the charger. It just plugs in and gives power where we can get this off and see where this is connected. So what this plate has is four T6 screws. Now we can just lift this plate out. The underside of this plate is just metal that protects the motherboard. So here are the processing chips that control the sound and voice recognition. This is a protective plate for some of the more delicate chips. So these two are the power of the device. You are not able to change any of these components unless you were to melt the solder around these and then pull it out and then you'd have to solder them back on and the motherboard is glued into the top here. I'm going to see what these lights up top look like. Just going to very carefully take my tweezers, get under it, and then lift it to break it out of that adhesive. They can just be pulled off. So the way the LED lights work, so that the lights are these four pieces here on the motherboard, and so then they shine through this, and the plastic has these six holes in it, so then the light shines through the holes in the plastic, just like this. So now that this is fully taken apart, I can start putting it back together. This part needs to line up so that this screw hole can fall into place. This plate goes back over top. Now I just need to put the screws back in. Now plug this in to its socket. Lay this over the holes. Then put the silver T8 screws back in. You want to make sure this gets plugged in like that. With this piece inside the notch, holes line up. You want to make sure the charging port is inside of its hole. And with this, I want to put these very small holes 
back into the notches. Then you're going to want to screw it back in. So now that that is screwed back in, this should still be able to move. You should be able to see the port in through here. And then this, just get pushed back down and it needs the last four T6 screws. So after those are in, this, even though the adhesive isn't really meant to come off and go back on, you're gonna wanna make sure this part lines up with that button. Go on like that, and it will kind of stay. Now we can see if it's still able to turn on and if those lights work. Welcome to Google Home. So after that, it can still turn on and the lights still work. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I have a playlist of other teardowns I've done on other devices. But if watching things fall and possibly break is more your thing, I also have a playlist for my drop tests. I would appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Twitter at testthattech.